People often ask whether Iceland has influenced me as a man and as a musician. It's impossible to answer that because the concept of influence is so complex and so intangible. But what I do believe is that it's easier to experience silence in Iceland than in most other places. This new album has a very personal meaning for me. It's deeply connected to my childhood in Iceland and it also pays tribute to one of my all-time favorite composers, Georgi Kurtak, who at the age of 96 is still in Budapest writing fantastic music for the world. I was invited to meet Mr. Kurtak while I was in Budapest for a concert last year. I thought I'd have about 15 minutes with him, but it ended up being something like two or three hours together. Talking with him and playing for him genuinely gave me a different perspective on life and on music. And after the whole encounter, I wanted to sit down and thank him, write him a note, but I couldn't find the right words. Instead, a musical map started to form in my head, with some of his miniatures as a musical compass. Then I started thinking about some of the music I'd loved as a child as well, and I realized there was a strong connection between many of these soundscapes and Kurtak's aesthetic. This album, from afar, grew from those two seeds. I've recorded the same music twice, once on a grand piano and once on an upright. Both versions will be included in the album, and I think it's actually very interesting to hear how completely different they sound from one another. Growing up, I was lucky as my parents owned a fantastic Steinway grand piano. When I got my own room at the age of seven or eight, I was given an old upright piano to keep in my bedroom, which meant I always had access to a piano, even when other people were using the family grand piano, my mother giving piano lessons or my father composing music late at night. In the last few years, I've been experimenting more and more with the beautiful sound of upright pianos. I really love them, but of course, there are some sounds you get only from a grand piano that you can't get anywhere else. After I finished recording this album, I couldn't decide which version of the recording to release. And then it struck me that I actually didn't have to choose. It's wonderful that listeners will be able to compare the two versions and I, for myself, honestly can't pick a favorite. It's a little bit like trying to choose between your two children but I am delighted to send them together out into the world. <laughs> 